I can't believe I'm actually going to be posting this, but you know what? I'm not going to do a Kylie Jenner on you guys and pretend that I haven't had this surgery when I'm most clearly going to be quite obvious. Hi lovelies and welcome to my channel. My name is Lucy Radwell and if you have found yourself here you've probably already figured out by now what this video is all about so I'm just going to get straight into it. Basically I am going to be having a breast augmentation next week so yeah in under a week's time now and yeah I just wanted to firstly like announce this to everyone um, I feel like this is like a really good way of just making it like super out there super open and just yeah like sh share it with you guys basically um, because uh, I am obviously prominent on social media and Instagram particularly and I just think it would be a bit weird if I had this done and didn't kind of acknowledge it at any point. So I thought instead of just acknowledging it, why don't I just share this experience with you guys and yeah, you guys can come along on my journey with me um, and hopefully this will help some people that might be considering having a boob job themselves or um, anyone that's just interested and just wants to know a bit more info basically i'm just so excited and this might like seem a bit out of the blue for you guys i don't know if it will be a shock or not i think on instagram people probably think that i have bigger boobs than what i actually do have and actually i've had a lot of people already ask me if i already had a boob job which is, I find quite amusing. It just goes to show how some underwear can just literally work miracles. Um, but no, I haven't had a boob job before. So yeah, I'm just gonna start at the beginning. So basically I've wanted to have this done, I would say for about three years now, which I know in the scheme of things probably isn't a really long time compared to some people. Cause I know some girls literally want to have this done from like, I don't know, like 15 years old and stuff. And like I, I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't been one of those people. It's not been something that's always affected my life. To be honest, like all through like school, sec secondary school and kind of like sixth form and uni, I never had an issue with my boobs being small whatsoever. I've never had big boobs. I am so happy that I had that time of being like happy and confident in my own body when I was at school and uni because I know some girls go through the whole that period of time not happy with the way that they look and their body and I'm not gonna lie like I was I was fine. I was perfectly happy. I felt great. I had so much confidence like I was completely content in the way that my body looked and it, that was fine. So really it was when I um, left uni, I would say. Um, I think I became more kind of self-aware in so many different ways, like not only like my body, like my mental health and you know, my personality. And I just kind of grew a lot as a person. And I just think I just changed a lot. Like you do as you get older, you do just change and what you want changes. Like it literally just came over me like a wave and I just realised that actually like I just don't feel feminine, I don't feel like sexy and that sounds really cringe but I just I don't really feel like I've ever felt like sexified if you know what I mean, like, I've just never felt womanly like that um, and, and now I'm a bit older I feel really wary of like wanting to feel like that if you know what I mean and I'm not saying like you need to have big boobs if you're womanly, I'm not saying that whatsoever but for me I just feel like I'm, I just want to feel more womanly and feminine basically. It's kind of been like the past three years which isn't a long time but I felt like really strongly about it within that time and it's kind of I mean it sounds really dramatic but I feel like it's kind of like taken over the way that I perceive myself quite a lot which is quite sad um, and it has upset me a lot and it's something that I've spoken about particularly with my boyfriend a lot um, and obviously my, my mum and my sister and my friends obviously um, and you know everyone is so understanding and they get it and who is anyone else to really judge what you do with your own body and you know what I think also for a long time what put me off doing it is that I was worried about being stereotyped and for people to judge me and yeah I literally just kind of looked at myself one day I was like hold on you're always the person telling other people not to you know give a damn what other people will say or think about them and in any other aspect in my life I literally don't you know I don't listen to like hate comments or like haters out there I don't let negativity like get me down and I just think actually like you preaching all this advice to everyone else but you're not actually like taking it on board yourself 
So I've literally just thought, you know, screw it, I'm gonna do it, it's gonna make me happy and if other people have negative things to say about it then they can just go and do that because I've just gotta do me at the end of the day. Okay. So basically my mum recommended actually that I go to see the private clinic and specifically recommended Mr Richards to me, not that she, she hasn't had surgery with him but I think the area where I'm from, Buckinghamshire, like that's where I'm originally from, he is like super well known and he's won like loads of awards and stuff. I think one year he was actually voted one of the best plastic surgeons in the world. So yeah, pretty amazing and he's won loads of different things and yeah. So he's kind of like quite well known I think, like where I originally come from. So my mum basically recommended that she heard really great things about this surgeon and that I you know he specializes he does other surgeries as well but I think he mainly specializes in like breast surgery so yeah I went for a initial consultation at the private clinic and um saw Mr Richards there as well and I got a really good vibe he seems super lovely like softly spoken like you tell he's a very caring person very like gentle and yeah I just felt like really at ease with them and him in particular I just got a really good vibe and I think if you get a good vibe then yeah go ahead with that intuition definitely but I went for my sizing appointment next so the sizing appointment if you don't know you basically you go along by this time you've probably done quite a lot of research like I had I'd spent oh my god I've spent so many hours on the internet researching all of this stuff and like watching YouTube videos and like looking at before and after pictures like it's literally like taken over my life I swear I've got a whole album on my phone of just boobs literally just like <laughs> so funny so anyway so yeah the details so basically I went along to my sizing appointment with loads of images which I highly recommend you do because it just helps them help you if that makes sense and Aggie my patient coordinator who is so lovely honestly like couldn't wish for a kinder person to take my um like sizing appointment which was so lovely and so helpful and what i love is that you can literally just talk to her like how you'd like to talk to your friends you know what i mean like she just she's on the same wave as you if you know what i mean you can just be like look don't like that i like that let's just make everything super clear it's great so basically i showed her all these pictures that i have in my phone and she was like right I gotcha. I gotcha, girl. She knew exactly what to prescribe me. Do you know what I mean? She was like, right, the pictures that you've shown me are all women that have had over the muscle implants. So I was like, right, over muscle, sorted. She basically told me everything that I needed to know and we had a really long appointment. It was great. And I tried on different size implants in this bra that they give you so you can like test them out, which was so much fun. I loved that. So basically, I'm going for the moderate profile. Um, because I just want them to look a bit more natural and I don't want them to be really out there if you know what I mean. Like, if you don't know, basically moderate profile is a slightly flatter shape which supposedly gives a more natural look to the boob. If you want to go for the fake look, like I, I don't mean that in a rude way whatsoever because I know some people that is an aim for them after surgery, like some people like to get the fake boob look and that's fine but not for me personally and because I've already got a bit of breast tissue already if I had the high profile implants I would have like a lot of projection if you know what I mean and I just think I mean I tried them on in the in the bra in my sizing appointment with Aggie and I just I just felt a bit ridiculous to be honest I just didn't feel good I felt like the proportions were all out for me they really kind of really pro like natural looking boobs so that was really good for me because I just that I feel like they know exactly what I want to achieve, they know how to achieve it, and I feel like really comfortable with them doing it for me. So when I went for my sizing appointment with Aggie, I that was at Northampton by the way, because I was living in Buckinghamshire, I travelled to Northampton for my sizing appointment with Aggie. Since my first appointment, I've actually moved to London, FYI. So last week I had my pre-op assessment and I had that at the Harley Street Clinic which was amazing by the way like if you live in London um definitely recommend going to that clinic because it's so nice inside uh, we then started to look at the different sizes no this is the bit you're all interested in Ooh, how long can I drag it out for <laughs> um I had a rough idea of what I wanted to achieve but I had no idea about what that equivalated to is that a word don't make that up what well, that was like equivalent to in a um an implant because it's you don't just go in and be like oh can I have a 
double D please or whatever. It's not the way it works. It works in CC, which is basically the volume of the implants. So I basically tried everything from a 300 up to a, I think it was a 430 or a 420. Um, just so I could kind of get like a full kind of spectrum of what different sizes would look like. And Aggie said to me like, you could have anything from the 300 to just over the 400 and that would look you know natural for your shape um and would kind of be within the realms of what we would be happy to offer you if you know what i mean they're not going to give me something that's ridiculously big not that i want i don't want that to be honest i don't want it's not like bigger is better do you know what i mean so aggie was so helpful in like helping me choose like literally and didn't like rush me at all like <laughs> Honestly, people around me in my life need to be so patient because I take so long to make decisions. Um, so yes, 10 out of 10 for the patience, Aggie. I tried on the 300 and I put it in and to be honest, I don't really feel like it, I could see a visible difference. Um, and then I tried on just over 400 and I was like, whoa, these are big. And I'm not going to lie, I loved it. I loved having the, big, the bigger implants in the bra when I was testing them out. As, as fun as it is for that 10 minutes of trying that on, like I've got to think, this is serious now, this is in my body for a long time and it's going to affect the way clothes look you know and i just you know you need to be sensible and you need to be realistic and you need to think about like your day-to-day -day life as well not just like the times where you're going to be going out you know what i mean so um i eventually decided on kind of like a really good middle ground i think which is about the 360 cc mark which is what i'm hoping to go for um and when I put them in, I just got, I just felt really good. I felt like it was a size that looked good for my frame, my figure and my height and everything like that. It just kind of, everything just kind of fitted into place when I put that in. And that is basically where I am right now. I will of course link um, the private clinic's website and Instagram below where I'm having it done and Mr. Adrian Richards's Instagram handle. And I just can't wait for Tuesday and literally just get, get that over and done with. I will be taking you guys with me on this journey. I'm gonna do a bit of filming on the day of my surgery and then maybe like a follow up like a week later. And yeah, just kind of like keep you updated with how I'm getting on. And um, yeah, please write any questions you have below in uh, the comments. So that's what happened guys. Oh my God, I feel so excited. And oh, I do feel really nervous putting this out to you guys because obviously, you know, it's, it's a big deal and people are judgy about this kind of thing. At the end of the day, I just want to be super honest and open with you guys. So I hope that you appreciate that. Um, I'm not kind of like trying to promote other people having surgery. I just want to share my journey with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay up to date with how I'm getting on with all my videos and I will um, update you guys soon. I wish me luck for Tuesday.